Well, what's up, everybody? What's going on? And I was just over here trying to get set up for you right quick. Well, uh, you know, came across this video, and I, I really, it, it really, it really, really touched the soul, man. I, I gotta, I gotta talk about this video, bro. So, uh, let's let's uh, let's do this. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, glad to see you guys again. And uh, welcome back to another lockout me and commentary right quick. We about to uh, we about to jump into this video that I saw, which touched me to the core. I actually I actually was sent this video and I was like, this dude, this brother, this guy. Really? He, he hammered it home. Let's get into it. Ryan Little. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to another Lockout Men commentary. I am your host, Lockout Men, and uh, and yo, you know, I'm I'm hoping you guys have a great afternoon, great day, great week, great week. My week started kind of, you know, kind of fast paced and everything, but you know, still learning the ropes of this new company that I'm driving for right now, and. And man, oh man, is it a company that I am learning. I, I kid you not. I kid you not. I kid you not. Um, pretty good company. I mean, it's 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 straightforward. It's it's the the guys there, like, I mean, twice already. I was at a shipper and they was BSing. And my fleet manager was like, yo, lockout, leave. I was like, what? Leave. We want you to go ahead, back out of the dock, go ahead and leave, head over to a spot, and we'll work on getting you another load. I was shocked. Y'all could not imagine how I was shocked when I heard that. I, I, I never experienced a fleet manager like yo we're not bullshitting i mean every place every, everywhere that i went every 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 company that i worked for with the exception of uh Wooster motorways when i get to the place and i call them up and i say hey the load ain't ready they want us to wait they want us to you know, it's a whole bunch of BS that's goes that's going on. No, nah, no, nah, none of that here. Not, not none of that at this company. Fleet manager get on the phone, holler at them like, "Yo, what's going on? Is the load ready or what? How long? How long is going to take for the load to get ready? Oh, it's going to get ready about three, four hours. No, we don't have time. We don't have the time. We're we're not doing that. We're not doing that. My." my my driver is not sitting at your dock for five hours waiting on a load that's that's that only takes a half an hour to load. And I'm like, when he calls me back, and this happened two times. Okay? This happened two times. So we went to I, I we went to a place in Georgia. He was like, we ain't doing that. Because when I got there this morning, the appointment was at 8 o'clock. Or, yeah, it was at 8 o'clock. I walked in, gave him the appointment number. The dude was like, yo, um, the load's not, the load haven't even been picked yet. So the load is going to be picked. It's going to be about two hours for them to load, I mean, pick. And then you figure it's going to be about another, another two hours for them to load me. Fleet manager got on the phone called me back a couple of minutes later he was like yo bounce i was like wait i'm i'm good where i'm at though he was like bounce i was like all right all right no problem i'm gone then i then the last load i say the last load was like yesterday uh i get there make it on time and all like that 
And the only problem with that load, it was half a load, right? It was it was instead of ten pallets, it was five, and it was half the it was half the weight. The problem was that they needed a complete empty trailer to load the load the pallets flat across the trailer floor. And I, I guess we was up under the impression that we was uh, double stacking. You know what I'm saying? We was double stacking and then and then we will take it. But they said they couldn't double stack it. They they needed a, a complete empty trailer. He called me back and he was like, bounce. I was like, shit, you ain't said nothing but a word, G. And see, this is this is what I'm talking about. All right. This is what I'm talking about. This this is that fleet manager to driver uh, rapport that I will always talk about. This fleet manager, this company don't play. They this like you is about your money. The company is about their money. And they already know that. You're not making money. If you're not moving. If you're not moving, you're not making money. All right. I say my own. I, I say this. I, I say this that. So far, so good. You know, I haven't I haven't been posted up. Me and my fleet manager, we be in constant contact with each other. And, you know, we we just give each other details. He wants to know, you know, he wants to know a little bit about what's going on. I wants to know what's the what's the next load to go to. And that's about it. You can't no more, no more, no less. You can't ask for more. If if you get what I'm saying, you can't ask for more. You know what well, you can, but. Yeah. But anyway, that was my week. That was my week. Let's get up. Let's let's get up into this commentary, man. So I check. Check it out. I checked out this video. And uh, and I, I wanted to bring it to you guys because. This guy that was talking about this video made plenty of sense and it's about last names like you figure everything that has a last name that last name is valuable Sanford and Son Nordstrom's Wells Fargo Abercrombie and Fitch Rockefeller those names have value right so i want you guys to pay attention to this video and then we'll come back and talk a little McDonald's bit about it. is a last name abercrombie and fitch last names armani is a last name baskin robbins is a last name chrysler is a last name fisher price gucci hennessy harley davidson hilton honda Coles. Kraft Foods, Lowe's Movie Theater, Marriott is a last name, Maybach is a last name. Now y'all see, y'all see the, the theme here. Maybach, Abercrombie and Fitch, McDonald's. You can't, you know, the, the last name is a meaning. So, just think about it. Just think about it this way. If you decide to make a business and when you come to think of a name for your business, a lot of people like to like to come up with funny names for their business, but your last name is means something. And if you grow that business with your last name attached to it, it's going to be monumental as it is now. Everybody knows McDonald's. Everybody knows Maybach, Buick. Everybody knows 
Amber Kwame and Fitch, Levi. <sighs> McDonald's is a last name. Abercrombie and Fitch, last names. Armani is a last name. Baskin Robbins is a last name. Chrysler is a last name. Fisher Price, Gucci, Hennessy, Harley Davidson, Hilton, Honda, Kohl's, Kraft Foods, Lowe's Movie Theater, Marriott is a last name. Maybach is a last name. Nordstrom is a last name. Pillsbury is a last name. Porsche is a last name. Procter and Gamble, two last names. Rolls Royce, Charles Rolls, Henry Royce, last names. Turner Broadcast System, Ted Turner, last name. Versace, last name. Wells Fargo, Henry Wells, William Fargo, last name. Walgreens, last name. Wrigley's, last name. Welch's Grape Juice, last name. Last name. Feel that. Here you are, you think you're buying a product. You are not buying a product, you're buying a name. Woo! Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Y'all y'all hear what he's saying? You think you buying a product. You going to buy a product. You're not buying a product. You buying the name. Jordan is the last name. Now you got Air Jordans. Before Air Jordans was even Air Jordans, nobody even know about Air Jordan. They only knew Jordan as the basketball player. But when Jordan put his last name on the sneaker, his name became a new meaning. Think about that. You think you're wearing a product. Hey, look at this product. No, you're saying look at this family. Look at this family. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a pair of Levi Strauss. Yo, check out my Levi's. No, look at the family that I just made. Think about that. Think about that when you start in the business. You want somebody to buy into your brand, somebody to buy into your product. My cousin, Ryan Wolf, even though that's a, I leave it up to him to change his last name, but it's still his name. It's still his brand. Wolf, Wolfie Wright. The name means something. And what you don't know is while you making every family rich, you making yourself broke. <sighs> Wait a minute, bro. Say that again. Say that again. I, I, I need you to say it again. One more time, IG. Look at this family. And what you don't know is while you making every family rich, you making yourself broke. Mm. So you don't went to one family called Wells Fargo and got two hundred thousand dollars. So you can go to another family called Rolls Royce. So you can give them money to get yourself a car. So you can go back to the hood and see the Joneses and say, "Look at what I, what I got." Meanwhile, Wells Fargo, their family sitting up being rich, and Harley Davidson's and Rolls Royce are being rich, and the Joneses are sitting there holding up people's stuff, saying, "Look at what we did, and we broke." <sighs> My man said. You go to Wells, you go to one family, Wells Fargo, to get $200 from them to go to another family, Rolls Royce, to buy from their family. Now you going back into the hood, into the, into the Joneses, and you broke. What if I told you that your blessing is attached to your name? That part of the reason why you're not wealthy yet is because you keep trying to make Yolanda wealthy. You keep trying to make Tasha wealthy. What if you made Johnson's wealthy? What if you started thinking about your kids? What if you started thinking about your legacy? What if God started dropping Canaan and opening up windows of heaven? Because now you're not just thinking about you. You're thinking kingdom. There 
out some people who are attached to you who say, Mama, can you do something with this name? There, there, there's some people who are saying, Dad, can you do something with this name? Maybe God gave you the name to change and reverse some of the stuff that the name meant one day. I wish there was somebody in this room that said, My name might mean one thing right now, but I promise after today, this name get ready to change. I promise after today, everybody's gonna want my last name. I'm here to let you know you are a curse breaker. You're thinking kingdom. You are not just getting married, you're breaking a curse. You are not just graduating from college, you're breaking a curse. You are not just getting out of high school, you're breaking a curse. You are not just saved, you're breaking a curse. And everybody around you is about to be blessed because of what God's getting ready to do in your life. This is so inspirational, so motivational that I put this in my phone so that every morning when I wake up, I turn my phone on and the first thing I do, I take about, I, I take about as long as this video play, as long as this video play, I, uh, I get inspired. If you if you don't find something to inspire you to to make yourself great, find it in this video right here. Your last name. One day, you know, I'm not going to be around and my son going to continue to continue my legacy. I am going to go ahead and it, it, whatever, whatever that I want to do after trucking, you know, I'm going to go ahead and save my money up because, you know, I've been a little bit on a, I've been a little bit on a messed up side when it came to, you know, saving up money. I haven't been a good, I haven't been good with money, but I'm going to be good with money this time. I'm going to be good with money this time. I'm a gambler. I'm a, I'm a gambler. I got a habit y'all that I got to break. It's going to be broke. You save up that little bit of money. You go ahead. I, I, I was just told over this past, this past weekend, I was told, I was said, yo, what are you doing? You don't have a, you don't have a 401k yet. What are you doing? You don't have an IRA yet. What are you doing? Well, I'm, 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 I'm saving up a little, you know, I'm saving up money and all that. No, you're doing it wrong, bro. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. So what I'm going to do with you next week, bro, I want to take you next week. We're going to sit down with a financial advisor and we're going to get you set. We're going to get you together. You're 52. You'll be 52 years old. 10 years will be here in a minute. Now, even though my bank is good, my bank is good, but it needs to be better. It needs to be better. But just, just think of this motivation right here. This, this motivation. Oh my God, just motivation right here. Attached to your last name. You know, you're going to be blessed. You're going to bless somebody. That kid. That, that kid that was on the basketball court years ago didn't even know that his last name was going to be something. Years later, everybody in the entire world is wearing his name on his on their feet now. They paying two, three hundred dollars for some retros, retro ones, retro twos. They just keep the, the they just keep the formula, just keep re, rewash and rinse. Making the name much more solidarity as the years goes on. Lowe's Theater. Remember Magic? He had his name attached to a theater. That didn't last long. But, but think about it. But think about it. Bentley, Rolls Royce, Buick. Armani, Asante, Ford, Henry Ford. So just think about it when 
you know, with it, just think about it. When you come out in this industry, in the trucking industry, and you say, hey, I want to go ahead and make this into a business. I need a name for this business. You don't have to look no further than just your last name. Such and such trucking ink. When you look at initials, when it when you come to trucking companies and all like that, ask ask them what that initials mean, and I guarantee you it's going to be somebody's last name. Just think about that. Think about that. Think about that when when you when you're putting it together. Think about that next time you go to Chase Bank and pull out uh, a loan. You pulling out a loan from that family. You going to that family. You sitting down at the per uh, at the, at at, at the uh, at the banker, and you say, "Excuse me, sir, I I want to take out a loan of a couple of uh, a couple of thousand, a couple of grand, a couple of million dollars." Oh, okay, well, we're going to have to see if this family, which they can, can uh, can front you the money. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to another family, like he said, you're going to go to another family and use the money that you got from this family to, you know, buy something from this family. It's, you know, the saying goes, I, I hear you guys when y'all talk, y'all say, yo, I don't want to. I'm tired of. I'm tired of working for people and making them rich. I get you. I hear you. When you when you turn around and say some say some stuff like that, you 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 put it in your mindset, and you make you you made the choice to change. But not everybody has that mindset, though. Not everybody can be a boss. You know, we're going to need somebody to clean up the toilet. We're going to need somebody to, to, to mow the lawn. I'm just saying. But it might not, it might not be you. Maybe you could start there, but that, that ain't where you'll finish at. So when you graduate out of high school, like you said, you broke a course. A lot of guys has not made it out of high school. And for those that hasn't made it out of high school, I mean, that don't have their high school diploma, but they went and, and got motivated enough to make a change, shout out to you guys too. When you graduate from college, you broke it, like he said, you broke a curse. When you get up and make something, you broke a curse. So again, your last name has meaning. And when you look to put a business plan together and you do sit down, with the family of Wells Fargo or the family of Chase, and they ask you for your business plan, and they say, yo, what's the name of your business? My business name is such and such incorporated. Be proud of your last name. You only get one. All right, so that's about it. That's it for this uh, commentary. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. Make sure you hit that like button to get this video posted. Let's get this video up to like a thousand likes. You know what I'm saying? So that YouTube would, you, you too, Google. You, okay, you know. I'm done. Anyway, so let's let's again let's make sure we get this to a thousand likes or whatever, and let's uh let's help the channel get it to where it is. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you very much. If you want to join the community, definitely do that. Hook your brother up with some coffee every day. You know what I'm saying. And if you want to come over and promote your company, your brand, your last name, 
by all means, come on over here to the Lockout Men podcast and get at me. All you have to do is just get at me in the DM. We'll, we'll get you going. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come on and chop it up with me, definitely you can do that too. Come on, hit me up in the Instagram over at the DM at Lockout Men, or you could just email me at LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. I will be happy to get you on and we will chop it up. Life before trucking, commentary, MTC. We have it all over here. You guys take it easy and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>